that's a good shot just pushed it down the ground and that's one of the short boundaries that Richie Benno was referring to earlier and the outfield is very fast indeed and really just a, a push drive by Martin Crowe beginning in four it's been a good performance from New Zealand they're past the 50 mark and we're not up to the end of the 15th over yet so Ken Rutherford is the new batsman so it's a slow one as the outfield is coming around. It's a valiant attempt by Dean Jones. The slowness of the pace of the wicket caused Martin Crowe to hit that much finer than he was aiming. He was aiming over mid-wicket. The ball in the end has gone to the boundary, but what a magnificent attempt by Dean Jones to get around and take the catch. Yes, uh, the right idea. Didn't quite go where he wanted it to go, but have a look at this now. Dean Jones, very, very quick, and boy, had he caught that, would have been a classic. But uh, he just got... And Crow is the batsman, but Peter Taylor. In the air and into the gap for four. They started to get some rhythm, and that's where they're hitting him. Taylor won't be happy. That wasn't a very good delivery. Well, the Australians have bowled a couple short just recently, and the uh, New Zealanders have really latched on to them. Here it is again, short, and that's just where he wants it to be. There's a big gap in the mid-wicket boundary there, and it, here it goes again. Here it, Straight over mid-wicket, there's a big gap, four runs. Once again a short delivery and once again to the fence it goes. So that one goes smashing into the fence. And that brings up Crows 50. He's uh, made 50 off 88 balls. Just five boundaries, five fours. Boy, do they need him, need him to play a good knock today. This year, Martin Crow once again getting onto the short pitch delivery and uh, dispatching it for four. It's a read back. And he's got it down between two fielders. Very accurately bisecting them. Four more runs to Martin Crow. And the Australians being punished for short bowling it may be that they're a little bit short of a gallop as uh, border says they haven't had as much limited overs practice as they would like coming into the world cup with plenty of other matches to go but certainly the bowling today has uh, not paid much attention to the type of pitch on which uh, they're operating oh what a glorious shot short ball pulled away and now one pitched up and he banged it through it off. Just the sort of classic stroke you would have in a, a textbook or on a video showing you how to play the off drive. That could be safe, it'll be a good catch if they get it. Border made the ground, but couldn't get himself in a position. A very difficult chance, but that's two the Australians have put out today. First Tom Moody, and now the skipper Alan Border. Apart from anything else, he had the umpire to consider as well, although I'm not sure if he got... So last ball, he's gone for that's a great shot. It's over the head of Boone, it could go all the way. Bo finding the gap, that's four. Well, there it goes. Five for 199 after 44 overs. Steve War taking his time. He's a good bowler in the final overs when the pressure's really on. There's four men inside the circle. Finnegan was Crow. He's on 94. He's played well enough to deserve a century. All these Kiwis go mad if he hits a six for his hundred. Oh, big appeal there. Is that out caught behind? He's not walking and the ball is thrown down. And I tell you what, umpire Shepard not very happy. Hands went to his hips there as uh, Healy threw the ball to the ground almost in disgust. And Border can't believe it either. They thought he got a big nick on that one. Ian Healy not very happy with the decision. Again, McDermott. Into Crow. Oh, good shot. Pulled it away. Jones dodge, misses four. Magnificent pull shot. Right off the meat of the bat. And he moves on to 98. 
What a magnificent innings this is turning out to be. There's a lot of power in that. Dean Jones makes a magnificent attempt again to cut the ball off. It wouldn't have mattered how big the ground was. That we're going to have to go for the big one. He can't just look for the one. He's going to want a six here. Two sixes, I suppose, with the last two balls. He's on 99. War's the bowler. And he's got it away. That's 100 for Cairns. That's 100 for Crow. And they're off to the ground. Oh, no. They're invading the ground. Crow wants nothing to do with it. I can't believe this. They're spoiling what so far has been a magnificent occasion. The Kiwis can't help themselves. They're charging out onto the ground. And one feels sorry for those in the West Stand. Not one of them have come onto the field. But what an innings, Greg Chappell. Magnificent innings, Tony. A very fitting century here for Martin Crowe. He's had a very dismal season with the bat. He's had a pretty ordinary season as captain of uh, New Zealand against England. And there you see his wagon wheel, the West Stand end at the bottom there, and he's got runs all around the wicket. He's hit uh, 11 boundaries, strike rate of 74.6. The form has been off for most of the summer, but it's come back with a flow and a rush this afternoon. And there's a lot of frustration out there for the Australians in more ways than one. They've gone into this series as firm favourites. Alan Border has been uncomfortable with the fact that they've been favourite. He's been trying to chalk it all down during the week. Martin Crowe and the New Zealanders have been under pressure also, and they've come up trump so far today. Actually, Cairns running for the dressing room as well. The crowd are pouring onto the ground here. This is not good.